RAF recruitment has been in the spotlight for months, ever since its boss resigned. Group captain Lizzie Nicholl refused to implement what she believed to be an illegal order to prioritise women and ethnic minorities over white men to hit diversity targets. Finally, the head of the RAF faced questions on her resignation from MPs. She determined, I understand, about 160 cases of positive discrimination had taken place. And she ended up having to resign, not wishing to go through with this policy. So my question today is, did the wrong person resign? Some of what you said in your opening remarks implied that there were different standards applied, that there was active discrimination against uh, you know, uh, you know, people who, you know, uh, 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 white men, um, but that was that was that was not the case. This was people. This was people within the organisation who felt that they were acting within the law. But Air Chief Marshal Sir Mike Wigston did admit his ambitious goals to improve diversity had been translated into unattainable targets for recruitment officers. That put intolerable stress on them. And that, was a, you know, and that was a failing of the organisation, where an aspirational goal becomes, becomes an individual target. Despite the mistakes, the Defence Secretary stood by his air chief. You know, Mike Wigston is, has been an outstanding Air Force officer, uh, and I think he's you know, perfectly entitled to stay to the end of his uh, you know, normal deployment. Whether that happens could yet depend on the results of an inquiry into the resignation, that are due to be made public soon. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.